I'm Jennifer and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. So this Friday I am throwing a tea party to celebrate the royal wedding. And I thought I'd do a post on tea to celebrate. There's three teas that I always have on hand in the house. The first one I'll show you is rooibos tea, otherwise known as redbush tea. This tea was introduced to me via Alexander McCall Smith's famous books, The Number One Ladies Detective Agency. It's heroin, Ma Ramatsway loves red bush tea and she drinks it every day, so of course I had to try it. And I actually love it. Here's the red bush tea. It's surprisingly creamy in texture and it's very full bodied. It's just an all around lovely tea, love it. The second tea that I always have on hand is English breakfast tea. Some people like Earl Grey, but I actually find Earl Grey to be too spicy. So I prefer English breakfast. English breakfast tea is lovely to drink with milk or perhaps a slice of lemon. And that's what English breakfast looks like. The third tea that I always have on hand is green tea. Green tea is actually my favorite tea. There's a lot of evidence to show that it's really good for you. I know it has caffeine, but I do believe that it assists the metabolism. It's one of my secrets for staying slim. I usually have a cup of green tea almost every morning. This one is silky green tea. I store the tea in these airtight containers, so a lid goes on top and another one on top of that. That keeps them fresh. This has a little pretty Japanese mountainscape motif on it. To make the tea, I pour a couple of teaspoons into a teapot and add almost boiling water. Then I let them steep for about five minutes. I use a tea strainer like this. If a few tea leaves get through, you can always tell your fortune with them. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers! What teas have you got there, then?